part two of the amazing butterfly tutorial. Now, in this section, we are going to animate, as we said earlier, the features or rather the, the parts of this butterfly using a uh, keyframe animation. Okay, so let's get started. Firstly, we are going to create the movement of the wings alone. Okay, mind you, we went to this particular option here and then we told 3D Max only to select our bones. Okay, now we are going to tell it to select all our objects. So now we are going to assign each of the body parts movement to a particular bone so that we get proper animation because as we said if we still manipulate this the object still moves on its own we don't want that so we are going to select uh, let's start with the, the body and then I'm going to go to I'm going to press F3 to go into uh, wireframe mode or you can always right click and then say wireframe and then I want to select and link the body the body, what is the body? Okay, we're going to select and link the body to the main bone in the middle. Okay, I hope you can see it's the one in red. So now, okay, let's see. If we were to move the red bone, we can see the body also follows already. And then we're going to select the wing, and then now we can turn off the wireframe and then say smooth plus highlight. Select and link the, the right wing with the right uh, bone and then select the left wing with the left bone so now when the main bone let's first once more go to bone mode and then when we select the main bone we can see the whole body follows and then if we were to flip this particular wing once more now we get to see a unified body because now the wing is flapping but it's still attached to the rest of the body now this is getting really beautiful next we are going through the keyframe animation okay firstly we need to position our butterfly so that it lies perfectly flat on the ground once more we are going to the uh, angle toggle snap click on that button so that we get exactly sorry let's select as you can see we are still working under bone mode okay select the main bone and simply move the object exactly 90 degrees to the floor and then right click on the move tool and then change all these values until the object is perfectly flat so now we get the body being perfectly flat on the floor okay next you are going to manipulate the movement of or the flipping of the wings first you are going to change our time so that we work with a longer duration of 300 frames click OK and then go to the beginning as I keep on mentioning please make sure you're working on the bone mode so that we don't incidentally select the wrong uh, element okay so we are going to select let's say we're going to start with the bone 2 okay I'm going to call it yeah we're going to leave the name at bone 2 okay click on the auto key button and then uh, add click on the stopwatch there to add a keyframe for our wing and then we're going to move maybe to 20 frames and then we're going to move it like this let's see okay we get the perfect view in the front viewport there so the wing will come like this and then around uh, 50 frames the wing will fall backwards okay uh, let's preview this animation so far so we are still we are only working on bone 2 right now so this is what the wing does okay and then we want it to loop okay so for to make it loop we are simply going to select all the keyframes that we've while still the bone 2 is selected and then shifts and drag the keyframes up to the 60th frame I hope this works yeah but you can see our wing is flapping but its axis is sort of incorrect let's preview this yeah we have a problem with our wing so let's fix that I, I did this uh, mistake intentionally for you guys to see that even bones can uh, get us lost right click on all the keyframes and then delete selected key so that we no longer have a keyframe and check the auto key button and then we are firstly going to select the wing let's go back to our old mode and then select the wing and then break the link between the bone and the wing select the other wing too and then break the
the link between them and then select your right wing go to the top view mode and rotate it so that it can be exactly at this particular degree okay do the same for the other one must be perfectly straight okay and then once you've done that click back on the toggle angle snap go back to the no no still working on the all mode select each of the wings and then let's link them back to their respective bones so we're going to link this one back to this particular bone here and now let's go back to the bone mode if we were to rotate we should get there we go now we don't get a uh, weird uh, wing movement we get perfectly flapping wings right now okay we're going to undo that uh, click on the auto key button and then click on the stopwatch to create a, f a, a key frame already for this wing here and then once more move to the 20th second and then rotate this particular wing upwards once more let's work on the front view mode so we have the wing going like that and then around uh, uh, around maybe 40 yeah 40 should do 40 frames it's going to fall back like that okay so to preview this this is what we have so far by the way you preview by clicking on the play button there there we go we can already see what we got so far and then we're going to select all the keyframes we just created and then simply or rather before we do that we're going to do the same for this wing here so firstly uh, uh, let's work on the front viewport uh huh. So the wing starts. This wing starts like that. The right wing or the left wing. I don't know. And then when this one reaches this particular point in time, around the twentieth frame, this one too goes up, like that. Okay. And then around the fortieth frame, when the other one goes down, he goes down too. They're just mirroring each other essentially. Okay. Uh, for those of you who are still novice in 3D Max, I believe you think you're doing some miraculous stuff right now. <laughs> but don't worry, this is the power of 3D Max. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now we're going to select both of the bones, the left and the right bone. You can see the keyframe, the keyframes are selected. So we are going to select all the keyframes and then shift and drag towards the 60th frame. And then shift and drag once more towards the 120th frame so basically we are duplicating the key framing values so that we don't go through the painstaking job of assigning them manually ok maybe let's change the duration to 350 and then uh, with the key frame still selected I'm going to drag them to 300 and yeah so when we preview this this is what we have so far let's click play there we go our beautiful butterfly is flapping its wings <laughs> amazing stuff in 3d max okay if you wanted the butterfly to flap its wings quicker all we will need to do is simply select all the keyframes we've created earlier this of course if you want a quick uh, butterfly uh, flapping its wings animation and then we so we delete all the keyframes except the first three but we still have bone the right and the left bone selected and then we simply move the keyframes closer maybe we move this one to 15 frame and then this guy here goes to the 30th frame if we play this back now we can already see the results we're getting if you still want even a quick animation you can always drag this to 10 frames and then this one here to 20 and then select all the keyframes and begin the same process of shift and dragging the values So this is really the part where you bring the artistry in you. If you want quick butterfly flapping with wings like that, that's up to you. But I believe the mo a more real butterfly will do such quicker animations. 
so shift dragging the keyframes uh -uh, sorry we made a mistake there I'm going to undo that okay select it's always the last th these last three here that we are working on shift drag once more to 300 how do we know the, the keyframe where we are placing the keyframes? Because 3D Max gives us the timing information right there. Okay, it shows some update information there to show us uh, where we are moving the keyframes to. So when we preview this, what we get is our butterfly flapping its wings like that, much quicker, much more realistic animation. Beautiful stuff. So next, we are going to uh, work on the on the path that the butterfly will follow. First, we are going to turn off the auto key button. Let's create a plane by going to the geometry panel and then say plane. This is the road upon which the butterfly will be doing its reflections and refractions and so forth. Okay. So we need to give it a particular material. Firstly, let's get it bigger. So let's increase the sizes because it will be doing some movements around along this area and then we might just want to increase the segments there yeah that is fine for now I hope and then let's go back to our bone mode select the main bone and then ju let's just move our beautiful butterfly there for now okay never mind him for now okay let's select all once more press M on the keyboard and select the material now this is a, this is a very important section of the tutorial where we create uh, reflective materials okay like a, 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 a surface which can reflect okay so we're going to click on one of the empty slots there the gray one call it uh, ground uh, turn on two-sided and then click on the on that particular button there so that we can see it in the viewport and then change this click on the standard button and then let's change the material type to ray trace and then drag this material to our plane okay now ray tracing is that that um, particular material within 3d max which tells 3d max how to reflect object okay but uh, that of course depends on how uh, good uh, we really get here okay let's preview this I'm going to do a quick render here of this particular scene as you can see, no reflections yet. Absolutely none. We still need to change some certain settings within our material settings. So now we are about to create the amazing effect where we get of reflective surfaces. So first we are going to select our object that we are going to be working on. Please make sure now you are under all select mode. Press M on the keyboard to bring up the material uh, settings. Click on one of the empty stopwatches like we've done earlier. Okay, we've already created it called it ground and then we've changed the material type to ray trace and then under the diffuse click on the box there select bitmap and then the diffuse will tell 3d max what uh, what texture to apply to our ground and we want it to be this particular texture here okay our ground uh, texture click on assign to object and then uh, make it appear on the stopwatches if you want you might want to tile it maybe I don't know to by two. This controls how many times an, a material is duplicated on a, on a surface. Go up to the parent and then select the transparency and then simply enter these values here 110 for red, 110 for green, and 110 for blue to give it a clear uh, grayish color. Okay, and then we're going to click on the reflect options and then enter 100 for the red, 100 for green, and 100 for blue. So this is a much um, much brighter grayish color. If you are to apply this to our object right now, and we render this, we see what we get already. S a slightly reflective surface there. Let's help our senior by heading a light so that we can see what we are working on. Okay. So let's see what we are working on right now. Okay. So we get the butterfly reflecting, but don't worry, we are still going to change some settings. We are going to go uh, still back to the material, 
bring down the maps options and then drag the crackles to the bump now the bump is what gives the material its rough look as it calls itself bump if you want cracks on your road or anything like that uh, to look much more appealing that's why you use bumps okay if we were to select uh, if we were to go to under bone mode and then maybe move to this particular point in time if we to, to render this this is what we end up with okay uh, we, are, we can already see more or less what you're going to end up with we just need a more powerful light okay so uh, we're going to go to all mode select this particular light maybe a target spot can do better stand on the shadows because it's really dark scene okay let's see what we have here oh too dark too dark let's not even go there okay let's try to change our uh, scene settings by pressing 8 on the keyboard and then we're going to change the ambient light to maybe something light in gray let's preview this there we go there we go so we already have there we go we can see the shininess of the butterfly on the surface let's select the bone bring it maybe a bit down like in to contact with the scene or rather with the surface yeah and if we were to rotate just to confirm our beliefs yeah we can see the butterfly uh, reflecting uh, the materials on the surface and when they are really into contact yeah we can really see what you're working on now if if maybe we wanted to add a box to, on our scene just to test if this is really working the reflectiveness and if we were to render this there we go even the box is being uh, reflected onto the surface okay so that was as easy as that creating a reflective material uh, in 3d max uh, maybe you might want to change the settings here maybe you want the glossiness but this is really up to you and uh, it might not always give the the options that you're looking for okay so yeah okay as you can see this one here is a big no-no certain materials don't always do what we want them to do so yeah that it was as easy as that creating a reflective uh, surface in 3d max and then next we're going to tell uh, our object by the way, can you see what the bump maps are doing to the surface? It looks so real, isn't it? It's really rough. <laughs> okay. We, we'll just need a big uh, a light at the end of the scene to, to illuminate the scene, okay? Next, uh, is a butterfly. Yes, we created him. But he has no directions. He, need to know, he needs to know, rather, where does he go? So, we are going to create a path for him to follow. So, we are going to go to the Shapes tools and then select Line. Please make sure you check the initial type to... Uh, or the settings are set at con corner and bezier and then we're going to go to the top viewport and in here we are simply going to draw the path that the butterfly will follow okay this is really up to you but we maybe want just the settings okay once you've done that s go to the vertices mode and then we are going to manipulate the settings here to make the line smoother so we are going to go to fillet and then you can see it's giving us uh, smooth uh, curves there for the path for the butterfly to follow select the next one increase the fillet once more if you want you can make them further apart like that select that one increase the fillet as, as I said this is really some sort of an all-in-one tutorial it has so many features in it because you guys have really been asking me something interesting to be done in, uh, in 3d max Okay, so this is the path our butterfly will be following. We select that one because it, uh, animals in nature hardly make uh, very sharp turns. They always make uh, curvy paths. Okay, so that's why we are smoothing out the, the the path that it will follow. So we've created a path, but if we go to this particular view, the path is very flat on this on the surface. We don't want that. We want our butterfly to be flying. Okay, firstly we need to shift our our path upwards so we're going to select our line go to this particular viewport and then bring it up okay to the f in the front viewport bring up the line okay go back to the perspective and then here 
we are going to bring down the vertices. These are for areas where maybe we want uh, the butterfly to be in contact with the ground. You can see a very good update of it right here, okay, in the left viewport. Uh, this one's here. Maybe we want it to be to start flying from a high altitude, like that. Please support us by purchasing one of our great training products. Uh, at the moment, we have the great training product called uh, Adobe After Effects and Match Training DVD. Uh, it's available on DVD and on download. Uh, if you go to our product section on our website, uh, which is www.henrythejedi.com, you can view all kinds of information that you need to know about this great training product and what it will do to help you achieve so many uh, great visual effects. There is also a product course line that you can also access where you can play a clip of what each of the particular tutorials covered on the DVD will help you do, okay? Like my favorite one here, Advanced Light Stroke Animation, where we have um, someone uh, which happens to be my good friend, Tony Koyabi, busy painting lines of strokes with his own hands, okay? So, it's, it's a great training product in which you'll be covering about 10 great, amazing video tutorials, okay? If you want to see for yourself what this great training product will do for you, uh, you can download for free the official uh, promotional video of uh, After Effects Unmatched and to access that you simply go to our products page and there is a section which says or rather there is a link which says watch preview okay and then from here you can easily watch the preview of what you'll be covering and we can also go to the products page by going to the product info uh, link okay yeah in here then you can download uh, low uh, or other medium quality or high quality v versions of the promotional product which will show you visually what you will be able to achieve with After Effects and Mac. Also I have a great uh, product support section which covers all kinds of questions that you might have with regards to how to order, how to download, or how to pay for your purchases and so forth. So the product support page is accessible by clicking on the support uh, link on our web page. Okay? And for those who just like uh, to see things uh, for themselves, uh, I put together a flash gallery in which you can check out all kinds of uh, photo uh, shoots that I did of the DVD because I really like the way the cover looks. I really wanted to share with it with you guys. So to access that gallery, which contains the photo pictures or rather photo shot pictures of the After Effects and Match DVD, you simply go to our product page. Yeah, you go to the product homepage by going to the product info link, and then you're going to see uh, a face of someone who looks like me. I don't know, it could be me. Okay, you're going to see my face there, and then you click on the link which says, click on the picture to see more photos of this great DVD, okay? And the link is also available there. So once you click on this link, it will land you on this particular page, photo gallery page here, where you can easily see all kinds of pictures that I, I took off this credit training product. It's a flash gallery, so basically you can simply click on next and you can see for yourself there what the great training DVD looks like, okay? Yeah. It's so beautiful, it's so good looking rather that I really wanted to show you what it looks like when you actually order it for yourselves. Yeah. You won't be disappointed. So once more, thank you so much for watching uh, one of our great uh, video tutorials. And thank you so much for supporting us at www.hendrythejedi.com. And once more, my name is Hendry Mbata. And have a nice day and goodbye. Please support us by purchasing one of our great training products. Uh, at the moment, we have the great training product called uh, Adobe After Effects and Match Training DVD. Uh, it's available on DVD and on download. Uh, if you go to our product section on our website, uh, which is www.henrythejedi.com, you can view all kinds of information that you need to know about this great training product and what it will do to help you achieve so many uh, great visual effects. There is also a product course line that you can also access where you can play a clip of what each of the particular tutorials covered on the DVD will help you do, okay? Like my favorite one here, Advanced Light Stroke Animation, where we have um, someone uh, which happens to be my good friend, Tony Koyabi, busy painting lines of strokes with his own hands, okay? So, it's, it's a great training product in which you'll be covering about 10 great, amazing video tutorials, okay? If you want to see for yourself what this 
great training product will do for you uh, you can download for free the official uh, promotional video of uh, After Effects Unmatched and to access that you simply go to our products page and there is a section which says or rather there is a link which says watch preview okay and then from here you can easily watch the preview of what you'll be covering and we can also go to the products page by going to the product info uh, link okay yeah in here then you can download uh, low uh, or other medium quality or high quality v versions of the promotional product which will show you visually what you will be able to achieve with after effects and match also I have a great uh, product support section which covers all kinds of questions that you might have with regards to how to order how to download or how to pay for your purchases and so forth so the product support page is accessible by clicking on the support uh, link on our web page okay and for those who just like uh, to see things uh, for themselves, uh, I put together a flash gallery in which you can check out all kinds of uh, photo uh, shoots that I did of the DVD because I really like the way the cover looks. I really wanted to share with it with you guys. So to access that gallery, which contains the photo pictures or rather photo shot pictures of the After Effects and Match DVD, you simply go to our products page. Yeah, you go to the product homepage by going to the product info link, and then you're going to see uh, a face of someone who looks like me. I don't know, it could be me. Okay, you're going to see my face there, and then you click on the link which says, click on the picture to see more photos of this great DVD, okay? And the link is also available there. So once you click on this link, it will land you on this particular page, photo gallery page here, where you can easily see all kinds of pictures that I, I took off this credit training product. It's a flash gallery, so basically you can simply click on next and you can see for yourself there what the great training DVD looks like, okay? Uh, it's so beautiful, it's so good looking rather that I really wanted to show you what it looks like when you actually order it for yourselves. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. So once more, thank you so much for watching uh, one of our great uh, video tutorials. And thank you so much for supporting us at www.hendrythejedi.com. And once more, my name is Hendry Mbata. And have a nice day and goodbye.